ESPN Extreme Games, later renamed One Extreme due to the ESPN license expiring for Sony, was a game released for the PlayStation in 1995. A version was released for MS-DOS a short time later. The game featured all the sports included in the Summer 10th Games of 1995, but it did not feature events like the halfpipe in skateboarding. It was similar to Road Rash, which was a game published by Electronic Arts. The game was followed by two sequels, 2 Extreme and 3 Extreme. Like other titles released during the console's early life, the game was available in a large CD jewel case, like the ones used for the Sega CD and Sega Saturn games. The game was subsequently renamed One Extreme when it was released in the Greatest Hits line, as the ESPN license had expired. The ESPN logo and company name were removed from its title, and game content referring to ESPN was removed as well. Topic. Description The game featured many different sports, including skateboarding, rollerblading, street luge and mountain biking. The tracks start at one end of a city, and progress along a linear path to another point of the city. Players kick and punch opponents while trying to obtain cash, attaining first place. The tracks are located in various parts of the world i.e. including Tahoe and San Francisco. Reception Roughly a year after the game's release, Electronic Gaming Monthly reported that ESPN Extreme Games was the biggest selling Sony published PlayStation game worldwide. Reviewing the PlayStation version, Air Hendricks of GamePro said ESPN Extreme Games doesn't push the limits of 32 bit graphics and gameplay, but it does take you on a thrilling ride. He elaborated that the game suffers from rocky. Scrolling and overly pixelated graphics and has few tracks compared to the similar Road Rash, but that details in the graphics keep the action realistic, and the racing is sufficiently intense. Maximum gave it 4 out of 5 stars, remarking that being able to kick the stuffing out of anyone who dares to try and pass you especially those racing bikes makes it a wholly fulfilling experience. They also praised the texture mapping and graphical details, though they criticized the small number of tracks and said the game does not measure up to Ridge Racer or Wipeout, both already released on the PlayStation. A brief review in Next Generation said it was not bad and scored it 3 out of 5 stars. <laughs>